Michael Dawson's ranking after the School of Infantry was perfect. Records indicate that over half that class has since been promoted to full corporal while Dawson has remained a lance corporal. Was Dawson's promotion held up because of this last report? I'm sure it was. Do you recall why Dawson was given such a poor grade on this report? I'm sure I don't. I have many men in my charge, Lieutenant. I write many reports. Lieutenant, do you recall an incident involving a PFC Curtis Bell who'd been found stealing liquor from the officers' club? Yes, I do. Did you report Private Bell to the proper authorities? I have two books at my bedside, Lieutenant. The Marine Corps Code of Conduct and the King James Bible. The only proper authorities I am aware of are my commanding officer, Colonel Nathan R. Jessup, and the Lord our God. At your request, Lieutenant Kendrick, I can have the record reflect your lack of acknowledgment of this court as a proper authority. Objection. Argumentative. Sustained. Watch yourself, Counselor. Did you report Private Bell to your superiors? I remember thinking very highly of Private Bell, and not wanting to see his record tarnished by a formal charge. You prefer to be handled within the unit. Yes, I most certainly did. Lieutenant, do you know what a code red is? Yes, I do. Have you ever ordered a code red? No, I have not. Lieutenant, did you order Dawson and two other men to make sure that Private Bell received no food or drink except water for a period of seven days? That is a distortion of the truth, Lieutenant. Private Bell was placed on barracks restriction. He was given water and vitamin supplements, and I can assure you, at no time was his health in danger. Sure, it was lovely for Private Bell. But you did order the barracks restriction, didn't you? You did order the denial of food. Yes, I did. Wouldn't this form of discipline be considered code red? No. If I called the other 478 Marines at Guantanamo Bay to testify, would they consider it a code red? Please, the court, the witness can't possibly testify as to what 478 other men would say. Now, we object to this entire line of questioning as argumentative and irrelevant badgering of the witness. The government's objection is sustained, Lieutenant Caffey, and I would remind you that you are now questioning a Marine officer with an impeccable service record. Thank you, Your Honor. Lieutenant Kendrick, was Dawson given a rating of below average on this last report because you learned he'd been sneaking food to Private Bell? Object! Not so fast. Lieutenant? Lance Corporal Dawson was given a below average rating because he had committed a crime. Crime? What crime did he commit? Lieutenant Kendrick? Dawson brought a hungry guy some food. What crime did he commit? He disobeyed an order. And because he did, because he exercised his own set of values, because he made a decision about the welfare of a Marine that was in conflict with an order of yours, he was punished. Is that right? Lance Corporal Dawson disobeyed an order. Yeah, it wasn't a real order, was it? After all, it's peacetime. He wasn't being asked to secure a hill or advance on a beachhead. I mean, surely a Marine of Dawson's intelligence can be trusted to determine on his own which are the really important orders and which orders might say be morally questionable? Lieutenant Kendrick? Can he? Can Dawson determine on his own which orders he's going to follow? No, he cannot. A lesson he learned after the Curtis Bell incident, am I right? I would think so. You know so, don't you, Lieutenant? Object! Sustained. Lieutenant Kendrick, one final question. If you had ordered Dawson to give Santiago a code red... I specifically ordered those men... Is it reasonable not to, to think Santiago. you would have disobeyed you again? Lieutenant, don't answer that. You don't have to. I'm through. 